Welcome to the uh, MIT and to this conference, The Road Ahead, The Future of Transportation and Mobility. My name is Peter Woodward. Um, I'm from England, UK, so all the place names here, I just feel I'm, I'm at home, which is fantastic. Uh, I'm an independent facilitator, so my passion is about sustainable development and the future, and we only achieve it by having great conversations, co-creating, working together. So uh, I travel uh, Europe and further afield uh, in order uh, whenever two or more are gathered together and we have the possibility of doing something extraordinary, then hopefully I'm there to try and encourage and help that to happen. We've got an amazing lineup of speakers, but the most important people in the room today are yourselves, because we want this to be, even, even though I've got 30 speakers, I want this to be participant-driven day. I want us to have some conversations. That's my plan and my challenge. The first conversation we could have is I would be delighted if over the next three minutes you would either look to left or right, in front or behind, and greet someone you have never met in your life and find out why this connection could transform one of your lives completely. So just meet someone interesting around you. Go for it. Lovely. If we could come back together. I love that. I just sometimes feel we should just ditch the speakers and just, just have a chat for the day and see what emerges. Wouldn't that be amazing? Can I check? Has anyone connected with anyone they've never met in their life before? I don't <laughs> Things could happen today. Uh, secondly, has anyone connected with anyone who seems... That sounds quite interesting, that connection. OK. Anyone... Anyone got a whiff of a, a life-changing deal in the air? No, no, no. We'll give it a little bit longer. But can I just say, the spirit of today is about conversation. It's about relaxation. We've got some incredibly important and serious, life-changing, challenging issues that we're going to be discussing. But I hope we can discuss them with a sense of common purpose uh, and enjoyment and bring our own experience into the room. Uh, one of the ways that this small gathering can project itself not just across this fine city but across the globe uh, would be if uh, we hit the Twitter sphere. Um, hashtag road ahead. Can I just check who's on Twitter? You know, I expected that an MIT gig it would be 110%. Okay, please use it. Um, uh, and if you've got uh, questions or things you don't want to ask out loud or whatever, we've got people monitoring and we'll see whether we can uh, get that coming in. I'm just going to do one more outrageous thing. Um, there is a night at a dinner with Carlo Ratti, okay? No, it's actually a signed pro copy of the program for the per first person, and you're going to have three more minutes, so don't, worry, don't, don't, get, no, don't get too nervous. Uh, three more minutes. The first person who puts a def decent selfie up with a neighbor, someone they've met, saying, we're glad to, we are changing the world in Boston. OK, so I'm going to look this way. You've got three minutes to get that selfie done and load it up onto hashtag road ahead. Otherwise, I'm going home because there's no point in me being here if we're not generating some heat. So go for it. It could be a selfie selfie, but just, you know, <laughs> glad to be alive. And if you're not on Twitter, you'll kind of be, you'll kind of be feeling what it's like to be socially excluded. Mm, I can't play this game. That's an interesting thing. So, OK, I'll, uh, tell me when the first, when the first. And the trick about selfies, it's, it's all in the chin, OK? <laughs> right. I'm determined. Has one come up yet? Yeah. Yeah, 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 yeah. We could end out up with Carlo Ratti having a, 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 a dinner with Carlo Ratti. That could be the answer. OK, I'm going to let that ferment a little bit. Um, we've, got a, we've got a rich program, not only of important topics. It's all in your brochure. Uh, but some great speakers with experience. We're inviting each of them, um, because of our time challenge, 
to just give us a five-minute impact presentation so you're not going to be overwhelmed by long talks, even though each of them we could have a day with them. So they have generously agreed to offer us a five-minute impact presentation so that we can then have some conversation, because it's only when two or more are gathered together, are listening and talking, that we have the possibility of something extraordinary happening. You can hear their speeches on the web, but you can't have a chat with them. So that will be the spirit of the day. But really, just to frame um, uh, the day and why it's such an important moment in time and why we've got such hope for this day, if I could invite Carla Ratti and Asaf Biederman up just to kind of give you a welcome from the place itself. We're going to do a double act. We break all the rules all the time here. Thanks, Thanks Peter. Uh, hi, everybody. Th thanks for uh, from coming from all around the world to join us here. This is the fifth time we're doing this, uh, what we call the Forum on Future Cities. This time focused on mobility. We'll hear more about the topic later. I uh, wanted to thank the people who support us, uh, School of Architecture and Planning, uh, AMS, Fraunhofer, um, and uh, also SMART. Um, Carlo will explain a little bit about what we're going to talk about today. Uh, we'll see you on and off throughout the day. Thanks a lot again for coming. Enjoy. Yeah. Thanks, for, thanks, everybody. And yes, you know, having come from all over the world, from Asia, South America, Europe, and uh, in this country, um, it's great to have you all here, you know, friends and new acquaintances, the people we just met in the couple of minutes before, as uh, Peter allows us to in interact with. Um, uh, just a couple of points about why we selected this year to focus on mobility. There's something very exciting happening today at the intersection of a new ICT. You know, a lot of this has been going on for years, but now there's a feeling that there's a big change there as well with real-time information being able to enter our pockets with new type of apps. Think about, you know, some of the, how that is changing a lot of the, the, the public mobility or taxi mobility in our cities. We'll hear a lot of it about it today. And then also the convergence between this ICT and uh, self-driving. And so we thought it was very important today to look at uh, some of this. Today there's a lot of research going on in these spaces in order to look at the technology itself, but much less research to look at how all this is going to impact our cities. And that's what we really should be do trying to do today, to discuss together, uh, both with the panel discussion and with some more, um, <clears throat> some, uh, some more bottom-up discussion that will happen during the day. Um, and uh, so we, we look forward to this. So we think it's really something that uh, will have a profound impact on our cities over the next few years, and uh, we are delighted to, dis to discuss it with a stellar lineup of speakers and with all of you. Thank you for being here with us. Thanks. <clears throat>